a great start. The Auckland Rugby League uh, Board of Directors uh, recently announced that Rebecca Russell is the new Chief Executive Officer, effective from the 11th of April. Uh, Rebecca joins the ARL as the organisation moves through a transition phase guided by the ARL strategic plan. The thorough and robust recruitment and interview process was carried out by a panel from the board seeking a fitting candidate that could lead the ARL in this direction. Uh, Rebecca joins us now on Pacific Days for a Talanoa. Thank you so much for your time today, Rebecca. Really appreciate it. Kia ora, Brian. Thank you so much for having me. Congratulations, firstly, on the new appointment and your reaction at being uh, announced as the successful applicant. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I was just so excited um, and, you know, really honoured, actually, to um, have been appointed to the role. I think it's this role is a real privilege. It's a real privilege to lead the team and work on the greatest sport in the world. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting started. Nice. Now, the process with regards to the transition up until the 11th of April when you officially uh, take over, can you tell us more about that and what's happening in the lead-up to that date? Yeah, so I'm starting to dip my toes in. Um, I've met with the team. Um, everyone's really committed and really passionate about what they do. Uh, we're gearing up for the start of the season on the 7th of May. Uh, so that's coming up fast. Um, so the team are really, you know, well rehearsed and and what they need to do, um, and all of the energy is going into that. Um, we've got a slightly sort a shorter season um, coming up, so that's something that our players and our members have asked for. Um, and obviously, we're working hard to to you know create a season that's you know COVID friendly and within within the the mandates. Um, so really, you know, just yeah, looking looking forward to that, that's that kickoff and uh, just wanting everyone to dust off their boots and get back to their clubs. Nice. Rebecca, why did you want to put your name forward for this role? I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're not talking about the sort of glory days of, uh, or, you know, Auckland Rugby League. I think many people would agree that, you know, that's a, a, a long time ago. But for you, why was it important to put your name as the new visionary for uh, Auckland Rugby League? Um, well, I think, you know, I can I can remember back to the days of Carlaw Park and, you know, Carlaw Park gets mentioned every every time I talk to anyone about rugby league, everyone harks back to Carlaw Park. And, you know, amazing. That was such an amazing time. Um, but I, I love the game. It's such a great game. It's full of incredible skill. It celebrates teamwork. And I've just spent a lot of time on the sideline or in league clubs. And, you know, the league community is so special. Leagueies are so passionate. They're committed. It's such a family atmosphere, um, and I think this is such a great foundation, um, you know, and we can really do a lot with it. I personally feel really connected to those values, and I think we can we can bring that that back. I think we can bring back those days of Carlow Park. I think we can, um, you know, really pivot Auckland Rugby League and with the support of our clubs, kind of bring some of that, you know, that energy back. Um, but I also look, um, in my career, I always look for those opportunities to make a real impact. Um, and... You know, for me, it's about outside of, um, you know, making a profit. It's it's absolutely about how we can create value that creates a positive social or cultural impact. And I think Auckland Rugby League provides unlimited scope. And that's really what gets me out of bed in the morning. Nice. Now, in, in terms of the uh, current strategic plan for Auckland Rugby League, can you give us an overview of that, Rebecca? Yeah, it's a really simple st strategy to grow. Um, which I think we all kind of agree that that's, made, that's what's needed. Um, you know, we've all come off a really tough two years with COVID and particularly Auckland. You know, we've been um, impacted by it more so than, than other areas. Um, but we've got, um, you know, 30 clubs across Auckland and, um, you know, they've done no different in terms of the impact um, that COVID has, has had over the last few years. But we've got a really um, in incredibly growing game. We've got, we've got league, we've got tag, we've got, Women's uh, League, which is getting more and more exposure. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunity there. So, you know, to, to grow and to leverage all of those, those key elements just seems like a really sensible thing to do. And I think, you know, at the heart of that growth strategy is absolutely our clubs. Um, we want to support them to create some really great experiences that keeps bringing our members back year after year. Your current assessment in terms of the game at grassroots level in Auckland uh, currently and uh, contributing factors, please, Rebecca? Um, it needs investment. I think it needs a bit of araha, 
uh, a bit of attention. Um, you know, grassroots is certainly going to be a big focus for me. Um, I think it's critical that we have a thriving uh, club model. Our, our clubs are just essential to our success. They deliver the game at the end of the day. Um, and I think the, the role that the club plays within our community is really important. Um, you know, they play a part in growing, um, you know, our, our youth and creating, you know, these humans, you know, creating kind of life skills and developing our, our youth in such a meaningful way. And I think we should really celebrate um, a lot, a lot of those um, those elements that the the clubs bring. Um, I think we've got a compelling grassroots story to tell, and I think we just need to invest in that and really nurture it. Um, so I think sharing that story more widely and really investing in that story that's something that I'm going to be really focused on. Rebecca, can I ask about the relationship currently with the New Zealand Warriors? Of course, you know, for so many players, it's always, you know, aiming to the NRL and, of course, the Warriors being like, you know, th that pathway. Uh, what is the current relationship and in, in terms of uh, working collaboratively in order to maybe streamline that, uh, you know, future pathway? Yeah, well, that's going to be a, a, another, um, you know, key piece of work that we, that we look at. Um, We've already started to do some work on those pathways. Um, we know we need to streamline it. We know it needs to be a little more intuitive um, and actually offer more options for people to, to grow through those path pathways into an incredible warrior's career. Um, so, yeah, we're absolutely keen to collaborate really strongly on that. Now, talked about the strategic ARL strategic plan alongside that, Rebecca, finally, your uh, vision moving forward as the new CEO of Auckland Rugby League uh, from the 11th of April? Uh, to build stronger communities through love of the game. Um, you know, we have a role to play in looking after our people on the field and off the field. And um, we know our clubs play a really um, big role in that. I think that they're really connected with that. Um, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, I've seen over the last few months, you know, some of our clubs offering COVID vaccinations and that, that um, just the fact that they do that, they can do that, they reach into um, the heart of our community and sometimes into our most vulnerable parts of our community. Um, you know, what, what a special, um, you know, platform for us to really grow from and to leverage. Um, and I think, you know, once you get leagueies connected, um, you know, and heading in the right direction, I think we'll be unstoppable. So I think this is how our love of the game really builds stronger communities. And I think that that's a really compelling vision to go after. Newly appointed CEO for Auckland Rugby League, uh, Rebecca Russell. Thank you so much for joining us today, Rebecca, and all the very best uh, from the uh, 11th of April. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. Kakite. It is uh, 17 minutes.